What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome to my current subscribers and welcome, 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 newbies. This is Oracle Card Reading for Sign of Scorpio. This can resonate if you have scorpions in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, No, Men, Haven, or Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading for Sign of Scorpio. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 205. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. I do. Okay, so I received some channel uh, channel messages. I'm going down the weekly uh, Oracle card readings for all signs, just to let everybody know. Um, so, yeah. So, um, and I encourage everybody to check out their Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node signs for additional message or messages if they uh, possibly apply for you. Um, only take the messages that resonate with the rest. That's very important. So the first channeling I, um, I received was stubborn. That's what I heard was stubborn. So that could be you or somebody you're connected to. in the universe, so stubborn. The second one I heard was, um, oh, what was the second one? Stubborn and, um, oh my God. Oh, yeah. A Scorpio is about to learn some major truths soon. So a Scorpio is about to learn some major truths soon and stubborn. So that could be you stubborn or somebody you're connected to the stubborn. But one of you guys is about to learn some major truths soon, and either you or somebody you're connected to is stubborn. So you, you are a fixed sign, Scorpio. Y'all know the fixed signs are, the, are very stubborn. Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, and Scorpio. Very stubborn signs because uh, we're fixed, and that's just the truth. I'm a Leo sign. Now I've got Taurus and Scorpio in my chart, so. <laughs> and Pisces, but yeah. Oyster, raccoon. For some of you, you dealing with earth sign or another water sign. If you are, they could have um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, No, Men, Haven, or Jupiter charts. You plug it in how it resonates. Also, reduce the number of Oracle cards um, because I was there was way too many up here. So, I kind of reduced them down. If you think anyone else would like my channel, please feel free to share it on social media and word of mouth. I very much appreciate it. Oh my God, Scorpio. Are you emotional over person, people, place, or situation? Or somebody's emotional over you? Holy crap. That happened in another time too. I think Leo's. I think that happened to Leo's. Hold on one second. About to come out of the shadows soon is what I just heard. About to come out of the shadows soon. That So that could be you about to come out of the shadows soon or somebody you're connected to, Scorpio. Holy crap, what's up with my hair? Holy crap. <laughs> about to come out of the shadows soon. So that could be you or somebody you're connected to. Wow, that was a crazy ass hair. Whatever the hell that was. Faux pas. I gotta check it now, huh? I'm paranoid. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. So about to come out of the shadows soon. That could be you or somebody you're connected to. One of you guys is about to learn some truths and then some kind of stubborn energy. Spirit messages you have to sign a Crack cup, disappointment with life, or dissatisfaction with life, heals, obstacles to overcome. Okay. A water sign, feminine, is making a Scorpio's life miserable. Oh my God. Oh, you, oh I'm sorry, Scorpio. 
You can be masculine or feminine. I heard a water sign femme is making a Scorpio's life miserable. And that's not funny. It's not funny. You can be masculine or feminine. Some kind of Cancer Pisces Scorpio femme is making your life miserable. You can be masculine or femme. Um, Y'all water signs. What is up with that? Another water sign is making your life miserable. However that resonates. Uh, yikes. Oyster. Diamond in the rough. That's what I just heard. Peace. Peace. Diamond in the rough. Oh, some of you guys got allergies. This happened in Leo's too. Sorry. This isn't like the most nicest pre presentation here, but got my finger in my ear. But holy crap, man. My ears itch. My nose is not running yet. It happened in Leo's. Maybe one of you guys has got allergies and maybe one of you take Zyrtec because I heard Zyrtec and Leo's. I don't take allergy medication, but I heard Zyrtec. Um, it, my ears started itching in Leo's too. One of you guys might have allergies. When I turn the camera off and I'm not doing the readings, my ears don't itch and my nose ain't running. So I'm just saying, I think somebody up in here has got some allergies. And one of you guys might be strongly connected to a Leo. And I'm just being for real. I heard Diamond in the Rough and um, Peace. So I think you want peace or somebody or somebody connected to you wants peace. Or you are somebody's peace or somebody is your peace or something like that. Some kind of peace energy. And then you could be the Diamond in the Rough or somebody you're connected to is the Diamond in the Rough. Only you know your story, not anybody else. Um, oysters. The pearl and the oyster is like the diamond in the rough energy because it starts out as a small piece of dirt um, in the oyster. And then the calcification, calcification, and calcification forms over it. It's kind of like when um, on the tree, when uh, you see in Jurassic Park where the, um, the science, scientist man, he shows the um, amber with the insect in it. Well, the amber formed over the insect a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time until it formed the amber coating over the insect. This starts out, the pearl starts out as a piece of dirt in there, and then it calcifies, calcifies, calcifies. It, that's what makes it the pearl, is the calcification in the oyster from the irritation. So, uh, just saying, just saying. And it makes it a beautiful pearl in there. But it starts off... To, Oyster starts off protecting itself from the dirt, but it ends up making a beautiful um, piece of art in there, which turns into jewelry for humans. Um, so it actually turns into something beautiful, is what I'm saying. So that's what I feel like with the diamond in the rough, with the pearl, with the oyster. Um, but you plug it in, how it resonates, Scorpio. Raccoon? A thief is about to be revealed. Identity theft, unemployment theft, unemployment fraud, disability benefits stolen, the whole shebang. Oh, dear God. Um, you play in how it resonates, Scorpio. A thief's about to be revealed, disability benefits um, stolen, um, identity theft, unemployment benefits stolen. That could be somebody that stole those, stole those things from you or somebody stole them from um, somebody you're connected to or you care about. Raccoons, they're nocturnal. They remind me of like bandits, i.e. Rob robbers and thieves. You see with the black over their eyes, like the robbers, well, not really, not real life robbers, but you know, like in the cartoons, they have the black band over the eyeballs. If a robber was a cartoon, was an animal, I think it'd be a raccoon, is what I'm saying. So, they're real-life thieves. I feel if they were a spirit animal, they'd be the raccoon. I heard disability benefits, unemployment benefits, and um, uh, something else. Disability benefits, unemployment benefits, and um, 
whatever else it was. Identity theft. Identity theft. Um, but I heard it's about to be revealed soon. So I think it's about to be revealed to you. I don't think it's you in this aspect. I think it's somebody you're connected to, Scorpio. But you plug it in how it resonates. For some, I feel like it could be an earth sign thief. Um, or somebody just taking on the raccoon animal spirit energy. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Let me see if I have anything else. A baby raccoon is about to become very significant in Scorpio's life. And a trip in nature, finally. A baby raccoon is about to become very significant in Scorpio's life. And a trip in nature, finally. Well, that's beautiful. I love nature. So a trip in nature is about to become significant, Scorpio, in your life, if that resonates, and a baby raccoon. Um, my daughter um, told me she wanted a raccoon for Christmas, and um, true story. And then I think it was like it was either January, February, or March. Uh, freaking now it was an old old raccoon. But I was coming home from work one morning because I worked the night shift right down the street at the nursing home down here, just a couple miles down. I come home. I was tired as crap. I look over, and there was a literal. Older raccoon laying in my garden bed. Of course, I cleared it out. It was all cleared out, but just laying there. It was dying. It was dying, but I took it inside, and I, I it was actually on video because um, it was laying right over there. If anybody remembers that, if you were on my channel then. But I tried to nurse it back to health, but it passed away a couple days later. I, my daughter wasn't home when it happened. I took photos and all that, but it was... Um, I remember that, but I heard a baby raccoon. This raccoon that I told my daughter she manifested it in. <laughs> but um, anyways, um, you're about to deal with the baby raccoon. So that's beautiful. The one I'm talking about was the older raccoon. But you plug it in how it resonates. Crack cut, disappointed, dissatisfaction with life. I didn't hear anything, but I heard a water sign fem is making a Scorpio's life miserable. So I feel that could be the dissatisfaction with life, um, whoever the water sign fem is, um, and how they apply in your life. They can have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Fem, and Hamid, Jupiter charts. I feel maybe you guys just don't get along, or they're being petty, or they're being spiteful, or they're being malicious, or something like that. I feel for some, they could be a baby mama, or a... Um, or a girlfriend, or an ex-girlfriend, or ex-sexual partner, or a current lover. Um, how that resonates? It's sad that lovers turn, or ex-lovers turn into people like that. But a lot of times they do, unfortunately. Um, I've never been, that's karmic energy. I've never been a karmic to any of my exes, because I don't want it being done to me. But some people, some people do that. So, um. I feel maybe for some, she could be karmic energy to you, just making your life miserable if she is a, I mean, you don't have to be a lover to be a karmic. You can be anybody, but I feel for some of you guys, she is a lover or ex-lover karmic. But to clarify, you can be a karmic and not be a lover or ex-lover. Okay. But I feel for some, she's your lover or your ex-lover. And I'm just being broke. But I think she's making you dissatisfied with life. A false contract is about to create a lawsuit. Know this. For one, you're going to create the lawsuit. A false contract is going to create a lawsuit. For one, you're going you're going to create the lawsuit. So you plug in and how it resonates. Um, I feel you can be on either side of that. Either you're going to create the lawsuit on this false contract or you're going to have the lawsuit brought against you for some kind of false contract. Um, I heard false contract, meaning it's not breach of contract. It never should have occurred to begin with. 
some kind of false contract, whatever the hell that is, and how that applies. Meaning it should have never been created to begin with. It was on some kind of false pretense or pretenses is what I'm feeling. Because I heard false contract. So it never should have been created to begin with because it was on false pretense or pretenses is what I'm feeling. Dissatisfaction with life, the lawsuit about to be created on this false contract. But for one of you guys, you're going to help create the lawsuit on false contracts. So you plug it in how it resonates. A Scorpio is about to fall in love with a fire sign soon. And a pregnant Sagittarius is about to make your life hell. One of you. Very angry. Far, um, a Scorpio is about to fall in love with a fire sign soon. Aries Leo Sagittarius. They, uh, they can be masculine or feminine. Aries Leo Sag. You can be masculine or feminine Scorpio. They can have Aries Leo Sag and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Feminine Haven at Jupiter charts. And for one of you guys, a pregnant Sagittarius is about to make your life hell. Now, I don't, you could have impregnated the Sag, or she could have been impregnated by somebody else. But she is pregnant in the energetic space. You know her. She's about to make your life hell. How that resonates and applies Scorpio. Then it's going to make you dissatisfied with life. Um, if I was you, I'd block my energy if you could. Um, I don't know how you're connected to this pregnant Sag fam. She could be anybody, a co-worker, a family member, a neighbor, a ball team member, community member, social media, etc., etc., etc. But if you don't have to be around her, I sure as hell wouldn't. Um, maybe for some, you impregnated her, but I'm not sure. Okay? But it's going to make you dissatisfied with life. Um, the impregnation of, well, not her impregnation, but her being angry at you. Whoever this is. Um, yikes. For some, it's an ex-lover. For some, it's a baby mama. For some, it's a mother. For some, it's a mother. For some, it's an ex-lover. For some, it's a baby mama. So you plug it in how it resonates, the side, um, pregnant side spin. Heels, obstacles to overcome. One has just had a huge spiritual awakening. And a one is about to deal with the feds on the negative end soon. Okay, so one of you guys has just had a spiritual awakening. So I feel your obstacle to overcome was the spiritual awakening, but it sounds like you're getting through that. You're having a spiritual awakening for one of you guys. For one, you're about to deal with the feds on the negative sense, negative end. So fed, federal agents, um, that's your obstacle to overcome. I, I don't know what the hell is about to go on there, but it doesn't sound like it's going to be positive. Um, yikes. For some, it could be earth sign fed. I mean, or water sign fed. I mean, Lord have mercy. I heard on the negative sense, so I don't know. I mean, something bad has happened. Whatever the hell it is, it's happened. One of you guys is involved with this on the negative sense. I wouldn't want to ever be involved with feds on the negative sense because that just never... I couldn't imagine how that would go in a positive light, is what I'm saying. Uh, you plug it in, how it resonates, Scorpio. That's some serious shit, isn't it? Definite obstacles to overcome dealing with the feds. For one, you are a fed. For one, you are a fed. Oh, my God. So, for one, you are a federal agent. And for one, you're about to deal with the federal agents on the negative sense. I feel whether you are a federal agent or you are a... Uh, one, dealing with somebody on the negative sense. I feel you could have water in your chart. You are a water sign, but maybe another water placement or earth sign placement. So we have the earth sign and the water sign. But you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow, God. I don't want to get on Fed's bad sides, and that's just the damn truth. Yikes. Cutting off an Aquarius is about to be the best thing you've ever done. 
Cutting off an Aquarius is about to be the best thing you've ever done. So some kind of Aquarian energy, mass or female Aquarius. They can have Aquarius in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine behavior, Jupiter charts. Her cutting off an Aquarius is about to be the best thing you've ever done. Until, you know, you have to plug yourself in where you fit. That's at least for one of you guys. Plus, um, I didn't do this for any other signs, but I feel guided to pull you guys at least one energy card, and then we'll close it, okay? Oh, my ears are itching again. I think one of you guys has allergies or... Or something going on with your ears? This isn't happening outside the readings, you guys. Just in Leos and Scorpios. Not even in Pisces. Oh, my God. Spirit messages here. A Scorpio is about to have serious memories of the past. Flooding of memories. They're about to be very, very, very positive. Very Scorpio is about to have serious flooding of memories from the past. They're about to be very, very positive fairy. So some kind of very positive memories of the past. Feminine fire sign. Or fem fire sign. Of a fem fire sign of the past. Maybe um, that's the person you're about to fall in love with for some of you guys, possibly. Fifth chakra, throat chakra, and it came out upright. Number 39 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 39, it could be a possible age of viewers, somebody you're connected to, or any other significant number. Number 39, throat chakra. Um, ah, it's like Ariel. <laughs> just saying, just saying. It's like Ariel. Ah. Okay. A Scorpio is about to speak up in a huge ass way. They're about to get a huge ass fire lit under their ass. Huge. About to make some power play moves. You go with your badass self, Scorpio. You can be mass or fam. You plug it in how it resonates. Scorpio is about to speak up in a huge ass way. Double deuces confirmation, huge ass way. Um, about to get a huge fire lit under your ass. So you're about to speak up about something. For some, you could be a public speaker. Or you could have a public platform. You could do it on social media. You could do it out in your community. You could do both. But you are about to speak up in a huge ass way. The truth. The truth is what I just heard. So no lies, no deception, the truth. Well, yeah. The truth. None of the truth will help you God if you believe in God. Just saying, just saying. I mean, I do. But some people don't. I don't judge. Okay? Um, but, yeah. So you're about to speak up the truth. The truth. Just saying, just saying. Um, it's about to benefit you and a feminine energy in a huge way. Tired of living in the dark. Okay, I heard it's about to benefit you and a feminine energy in a huge way. Tired of living in the dark. So whatever truth you're about to speak, it's very truthful. It's not manipulation. It's not lies. It's not deception. It's not what's done in the dark is coming to the light. It is the light because it is the truth. Whatever the hell it is. Um, for some, I feel it could be of the past. Because we've got some past energy in here with the memories and um, past energy. But it could be present, uh, possibly. You plug it in, how it resonates. For some, I feel it could be past or present. For some, it could be both. You plug it in, how it resonates. Only you know what truth you're about to speak. But it is the truth. Um, so there is no what's done in the dark coming to the light. Because it is the light. It is the truth. So, I heard it's about to benefit you and a feminine energy in a huge way. For some, I strongly feel it could be a fire sign. It's about to uh, benefit because you're pulling in positive fire sign energy minus the bitchy side. Uh, bitchy preg pregnant side. But, however that resonates, it is the truth. You're about to speak it. It's about to benefit you and a feminine energy in a huge way. Whoever this feminine energy is, only you know who it is, not anybody else, Scorps. Okay? I know I about broke a, broke a window or two. Um, I'll be quiet because I don't want to. Um, I've already got to get a front door as it is. I don't want to break a damn window. Just saying. Let me see if I hear anything else. J K M A P J K M A P B J K M P A 
J-K-M-P-A-B. J-K-M-P-A-B. Say that five times fast. J-K-M-P-A-B. 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 Oh. That could be a first, middle, or last initial of you or somebody you're connected to. Or a nickname initial of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant initial. You plug it in. How it resonates, Scorpio. All right. I love you guys. I hope this helped. Let me see if there's anything else. A Scorpio is about to help bring a um, star to the to the forefront. A true star. A Scorpio is about to uh, bring a true star to the forefront. True star. Not in a negative sense. She has been a true light to her community and her world. Not in a negative sense. Um, she's been a true light to her community and her world. Uh, not in a porn star way. Oh my God, I just heard not in a porn star way. Oh shit. Did you want to make her into a porn star in the past, Scorpio? No shit. I'm not saying you did, but Lord, I heard not in a porn star way. Well, that's good to know. I mean, I'm just saying, shit. Uh, unless they want to be a porn star. Some people like that. I mean, I don't judge, but I'm not like that. But I heard not in a porn star way, so that's significant. I heard she's been a true light to her community and her world and not in a porn star way. <laughs> so whoever this person is, to you, Scorpio, okay? You're about to use your throat shot. Ah! Okay? Love you. Namaste.